Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Arkin and today I'm finally revealing my settings and loadouts for Black Ops 6. I waited a couple days to make this video because I wanted it to be perfect. There's a lot to go over, a lot of stupid secret settings, a lot of stupid secret things you need to know like inside the game and the attachments. That deadass just changed the entire game for no reason. I see everybody struggling, I see the comments, I see the tweets, I, I'm not even just the sniping community. Everybody is struggling with sniping, so all the other videos man i'm gonna get you guys right i spent a long time making sure everything was perfect for this video so let's get into it also here's some proof that i actually know what i'm talking about oh my god that was beautiful He's on yo Oh, I just hit a okay, everybody, time to lock in. We're going to start with the settings, and then we're going to go to the loadout after. We're going to go one by one. We're going to start with the easy stuff, and we're going to go to the hard stuff. You guys are going to lock in, copy every single thing I have, and we're going to watch the whole video and drop a like right now, or I'm going to eat your cheeks on some weird shit. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Volume time, 50, 0, 20, 80, 0, man, okay? The volumes are important in this game. The dialogue is important. Uh, the main thing I would say with the audio is put on headphone base cut. Headphone base cut made it so I can hear people a little bit better. You know, it doesn't make some crazy ass difference. But again, if you're in game like Hardpoint S&D, uh, somebody doesn't have Ninja on, you're going to want to put that on and you'll be good to go. Okay. Another big thing in the audio is turn on reduce tinnitus sound, bro. When you get stunned or flashed, that shit is gas, bro. Okay. We're going to be efficient here. Voice chat. Again, don't really need much in that. Let's be efficient though. Let's go straight into interface. Very important things in here. Very important. Everybody lock in. Let's go. All these should be just normal off the rip make sure you have skip introduction on uh telemetry this is, these are the things at the top of the screen uh words are hard that's what i have at the top of the screen that uh i enjoy while i'm on pc hold on sorry i had to itch my nuts let's go to readability here uh none of these are that important the only one that's going to be important here is the color customization very very important thing here go to color filter put that bitch on two put this on both and then turn the colors into 10 damn turn the color intensity up to a hundred and uh, you'll be good to go there the game will look way way better after that again big thing with sniping on this game is it's so hard to see people for some reason man when they're like laying down i don't really know what it is but uh, i struggle with seeing some people sometimes unless they're like highlighted when you like put your center dot over them besides that it's hard to see people in this game big thing here for the hud put on mission interface the shit is gas after you put that on make sure you have square minimap on turn off your compass type turn on minimap rotation turn off radar i don't know what they did to radar in this game or the setting itself anyway but it's cooked uh you you get an advanced uav you can't even tell what way people are going i don't know what the f they're doing put this on 103 the rest of these should just be straight up 100 all right now you're locked in for the interface in the audio w boys over here let's go i love you guys man uh i got a 4090 make sure this is on uh 240 or whatever your main monitor is okay if you have a 144 make sure it's on 144 sometimes people don't make sure to put it up okay i think all these are pretty normal none of these should be changed i don't think uh let's go to these make sure your uh resolution is on 100 some people's are like stuck on some low ass setting and you forget to put it up go put it up put on fidelity cast man oh my god i don't know what they're doing in this game uh but like nvidia dlss all that shit is just terrible just put on fidelity cast Put it to 100 you'll be good to go there man uh if you guys have a 40 series or up put on frame regeneration unironically um i have one of the best like frame rates in the entire like scene right now i don't really know what's going on I, you'll see in my clips i put like three four hundred frames on some of these maps bro it's kind of insane uh put up so put that on let's do v ramp to 80 so like i said I, I pull a lot of frames so maybe i got some crazy little combo going in these settings so just be sure to copy them all and you'll be good to go all right we'll do normal normal off normal normal on on medium optimize man all right we go to optimize put that bitch on 36 this was a big thing in the beta was this setting right here make sure download limits is off and just put that in the middle you should be good to go to there all right a couple things with snipers right here is uh screen space reflections if you have diamond camo unlocked or you only have gold if you have diamond camo turn this off so it doesn't tweak out in game but if you only have like gold or you don't like diamond or whatever just turn this on to like high it doesn't make a difference it'll just make things look a little better like camo wise all right for all these you just copy them uh pretty straightforward right there man uh, let's speed this up a little bit all right guys guys go to a fucking 120 fov you know grow up a little bit you know what i'm saying put it on affected wide 120 let's get some nice looking clips on the timeline all right you know let's get some good stuff here okay lock in that's what i run that's the best stuff right there and oh god turn off oh 
I almost said ocean blur. I might be tweaking. Turn these off, okay? If I see one more clip of motion blur, you guys are tweaking. Turn on inverted flashbang as well so you don't go blind when you get flashed, right? So the tinnitus sound thing on and this on. Oh my God, we are safe from stuns and flashes, baby. We're so back. Time to go to the controller, baby. Oh my God, there's so many important things in here. I need you guys to lock in on Jesus Christ, bro. Let's go. Okay, so some of these are just mine and some of these you're gonna need for in-game sniping, okay? So my thing, I use tactical flipped, okay? So I punch with circle and then I'm able to like dive with hybrid, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so tactical flip. Sensitivities in this game are important, okay? There's like zero aim assist on snipers, bro. I don't know what they're doing. You know, probably should be more. Maybe they'll add it in the future. So if you wanna lower these, if you're new to sniping, I definitely would caution on the side of lowering your sensitivity just because because of the clunkiness and the centering and there being like minimal aimuses, okay? So caution on the side of lowerness. Again, I used to run max and I'm on 19 on this game if that if that says anything. Like I said, I use flipped, so I shoot my bumpers and uh, I use a scuff PS5 reflex. Go buy that shit. Shout out scuff. Biggest thing in the game right here is dead zones, man. Copy these straight up 065, 299, zero, zero. The reason you put this at zero and this is 65 is so that when you press your left stick forward to run, you are at the maximum speed as fast as possible, okay? Okay. And this matters again, comboed with other settings. Trust me, you'll see why it matters for your right stick. If you guys don't know, if you have stick drift, just turn this up. Okay, just turn it up until you don't have stick drift, okay? If you have a new controller, put it on one. Mine's a little new, so I have it on two. And 99 uh, for this, you'll be good to go, okay? For these, those top two do not matter. Open this. This is the most important setting, in my opinion, if you're a sniper. Uh, again, if you're if you're tweaking in game, it's probably because of this. And it's probably because you have custom sensitivities on. Put on after zoom, okay? So if you have custom sensitivities on and you have after zoom on when you aim in fully it will activate your ads sensitivity multipliers okay so the problem people were having people have it on instant or gradual as soon as you start pressing your aim in it activates so it like speeds up and it tweaks people out um and that's why put it on after zoom okay uh for this this is dynamic this has been in every other game recently put it on dynamic good to go uh, make sure that's just one okay and for these i like to use uh 0.8 for when i pick up like a red gun off the ground so it's a little bit slower when i'm like aiming in and, and the aim is just should be pretty normal because there's no specific aim assist in this game. All right, that's it for that. Make sure that's on. And yeah, like I said, there's no specific aim assist. It's just one and there's not really any for sniping anyway. Huge setting here, lock in. Oh my God, why would they put this in the game? No idea. But I think when you open the game, this is on tactical sprint assist. Nope, 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 nope. Put that bitch on on. You will aim in way faster after like sprinting, okay? And make sure you have sprint assist delay on zero, okay? Uh, it's one of those things you're just gonna have to test and you'll be like, oh shit. Arkansas lucky right holy fuck. put it on 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 god i got you okay corner slicing turn that off it's stupid uh for slide behavior put on hybrid i highly suggest putting on hybrid again that's something you're gonna have to get used to because diving is such a big thing in this game but put it on hybrid just get used to it you'll thank me later it allows you to like utilize the movement better okay trust me again you're gonna have to use to it if you don't use it but it i got used to it myself and i'm very happy i did slide maintain sprint make sure that is on sprint restore i tested it it's it's stupid just leave it off all these i think movement settings yep big setting here this this is the setting that is comboed with the sprint assist setting i was talking about okay so sprint tap to run a lot of people f this up i don't know why single tap to sprint is is not you know like it's cool but it's not ideal single tap to run gas that shit's gas copy all these uh you should be go good to go there okay nothing else here uh, let's go down these they should be base off the game these are base don't touch those combat behaviors you know these again a lot of these are preference this one specifically tap to reload is what i like because i enjoy uh you know if there's a gun on the ground i'd rather just like tap my button to reload and then pick it up off the ground but some of you play warzone and like prioritize interact uh, so that's preference you can have to test that out big setting here huge setting maybe the biggest setting in the game not really but you got to change this from finishing move to prioritize body shield and oh my god you can put those little bitches and body shields literally so fast and just put them against the wall and fuck them. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let's lock it back in though. No. That's it for the controller settings, right? I think so, right? Yeah, bang. All right, time for the best class setups on all of Black Ops 6 for sniping, you guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed anything or learned anything at all, on top of the fact that I'm dropping an actual how to snipe on Black Ops 6 video this weekend, drop a like and subscribe. I genuinely appreciate it, bro. Just just drop a like just cuz, man. E even though I'm saying in shit, just fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? It helps a lot. It helps the out. Here's my class setup. So let's start with the LW3A1, man, okay? This, in my opinion, is the second
second best sniper in the game, but you know that, that that's an opinion for another video. First thing you're gonna want to put on for one is gunfighter. Okay, we're gonna want eight attachments on this gun. I mean, you can run five attachments. I'll give you that class setup too. But if you're gonna run eight, let's do muzzle break because the sway after rechamber in this game is ridiculous. You're gonna want to put on muzzle break. Let's do reinforced barrel as well. Um, if if you jump shot at all, put on short barrel. Precision pad is definitely the next best thing to have on here. Let's do extended mag one. Quick draw. There's nothing else you can do besides quick draw. Heavy stock is a must on every sniper in this game, bro. The flinch is crazy. Sherlock laser. Again, a lot of people I've seen talk about target laser. No, 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 no. Put on Sherlock laser. This makes it so you can literally pop shot. You can dead ass barely aim in and shoot somebody across the whole map if you do it correctly, bro. It's a very flow based, like, like rhythm based. But as soon as you figure out how to use Sherlock laser properly, you're going to be good to go. Okay. Rapid fire on every gun as well. Okay. So that's the attachments for the LW3A1. Uh, now this is the rest of the class that I I'm not going to show this for every other uh, uh, gun because it's the same for all of them. But this is what I use uh, that's very important that goes with sniping, especially aggressive sniping, okay? For one, use this uh, pistol. It's the it's the automatic pistol. So if you hit marker somebody, just swap and smoke them with that. Impact grenades are low-key mad clutch as well. This is like the Ganon bomb from Vanguard, if you remember. So if you hit marker somebody and they're in a weird spot, you can just chuck that bitch at them and it'll instantly kill them. Put on trophy system. Put on stim shots. Dexterity, not gung-ho. Put on dexterity. That's good for sniping. Uh, rock assassin, because that's the only other thing. And then do uh, double time, okay? That'll give you enforcer, bro. So if you look behind me over here, killing enemies grants temporary buffed up movement speed and regen health. What the f that shit's overpowered as hell. Oh my God. Super gas. All right, let's move on to the LR. This, in my opinion, is the best sniper in the game. And it's low key gas, bro. Let me show you a clip to prove it. Yeah, I low key, I, I, I love this gun, bro. Okay, this is gonna be similar to the other gun. A little bit different though. Muzzle break again, because the rechamber is just really bad. I do short barrel on this one because you don't really need a reinforce on this. I jump shot a little bit, so sometimes you get caught out and it's better to have short barrel on than off. Ranger, handguard is fire on this. Let's do extended mag, not two, holy shit. Extended mag one. Quick grip, heavy stock again, like I said, Strelock and rapid fire. Th these are the staples right here, okay? These five at the end are the staples if you are not running gunfighter, okay? So if you're not running gunfighter, I would recommend putting on Pert Greed and then putting on Black Jacket, okay? So if, if you're doing no gunfighter, do these five at the end, even for the, the LW3A1, and then just put on Black Jacket, okay? So that's the alternative to this class is doing that right there, okay? Now for the SVD, it's also gonna be similar. I've been with this class a little bit. Dipple and dabbling with the uh, 7X scope. Oh my God, a little interesting scope. My boy Fru put me onto it. Shout out my dog. You're gonna definitely wanna run gunfighter on this as well. Put on muzzle break, put on reinforced barrel. You can put on long barrel maybe, but just do reinforced for now. That's the best thing we've we've found so far. Extended mag one, quick draw, heavy stock, Sherlock, rapid fire. Y'all know the drill at this point, man. Oh God. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. But like I said, I'm uploading a sniper tutorial, all the good stuff this weekend. Okay, so be sure to subscribe. Drop that like, like I said, and pull up to the stream tonight, man. I'm live on kick right up here, man. Kick.com slash Arkin. That's where all the cool shit happens, you guys. You want to see these clips hit live? You want to see what I look like? You know, all that shit. I, you know, maybe I'll be a potato. Who knows? But that's where all the cool stuff happens, man. Okay, pull up to the kick. I'm probably live right after this video goes up, okay? Be sure to comment, you know, Arkin 200K. Like I said, shout out to this person right here. Mwah. I love you. Thank you so much for commenting on the last video. Comment Arkin 200K again on this video for a shout out in the next video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much, man. Oh God, I love you guys so much. Right in the middle is here. Oh God, I love you. Kisses. Oh, I disappeared. Peace.